In this lesson, risk communication with regards to drugs will be explained. To promote the proper use of medical products, risk information is exchanged between stakeholders. The risk communication flow is illustrated here. First, the PMDA collects safety information, including ADRs, from marketing authorization holders, MAHs, healthcare professionals, HCPs, and patients. After scientific evaluation, the PMDA and the Ministry of Health, Labor and Welfare, MHLW, will consider proper safety measures. Information is provided to HCPs and the public in a timely manner. In this video, you will learn what kinds of risk communication tools are typically used throughout Japan. Here are risk communication tools for healthcare providers. The upper communication tool, yellow letter, and blue letter are distributed only in urgent cases, while the lower communication tool is frequently used in more general cases. Each communication tool will be displayed here, beginning with the next slide. The yellow letter is an emergency alert to HCPs and contains affirmative measures such as restrictions on the use of a drug. The blue letter is an alert requiring swifter dissemination. For example, alerts concerning the proper use of drugs is provided. The yellow and blue letters were made available in English after 2011. Even though cautions are already provided through the use of labeling, some adverse events will repeatedly be reported to the PMDA. When the PMDA determines an additional alert is required in such a case, the PMDA will issue an alert for proper use of the drugs or medical safety information. These are written in a way that is easy to understand and also make use of illustrations. Labeling is an official document that provides basic information about a drug product. The target users are healthcare providers. Almost all labeling is posted on the PMDA website as e-labeling. Healthcare providers can access the most up-to-date labeling at any time. Revisions of precautions are provided if a revision of labeling is required based on information, such as ADR's reports. When revision of contraindications, warnings, serious ADRs of labeling are required, instructions on revisions of precautions and summaries of investigation result reports are released. In addition to the tools introduced so far, there are also tools that are provided after adding more detailed information from the MHLW. It is called PMDSI, which stands for Pharmaceuticals and Medical Devices Safety Information. A summary of cases serving as the basis for revisions of precautions is also included. After adding such detailed information, PMDSI is published about one month after instructions for revision of precautions. The PMDA Medinavi is a mailing list service that promptly delivers safety information related to medical products to subscribers. It enables HCPs to access the most up-to-date safety information regarding drugs and medical products. The PMDA Medinavi notifies HCPs when new safety information is posted on the PMDA website. Information is currently provided in Japanese only. Subscribers to PMDA Medinavi can receive these kinds of information as soon as it is posted on the PMDA website. There are some risk communication tools for patients as well. Drug guides for patients and manuals 
for the management of individual serious ADRs. Drug guides for patients are prepared to promote a proper understanding of prescription drugs among patients and their families and to enable more rapid detection of serious adverse reactions. Important information regarding drug use derived from the content of labeling is provided to patients in a more easily understood manner. For patients, MHLW prepares manuals for the management of individual serious adverse drug reactions. The manuals include comprehensive descriptions of relevant initial symptoms, typical clinical cases, and so on to detect ADR's early timing. More detailed manuals for HCPs are also available. For your information, the following slides share how to find the safety information and email alert service in Japan. This is the top page of the PMDA website in English. From this page, you can access the risk communication tools. The PMDA also provides an email alert service in English. The PMDA sends email notifications to regulatory authorities that are interested in receiving information regarding safety. Notifications will be sent to registered addresses after the publication of safety information, such as yellow letter, blue letter, revisions of precautions, and drug risk information of ongoing evaluation. If you are interested in receiving notifications, please contact safety.info at pmda.go.jp. Please note that some restrictions shown here will apply.